This is not a test. Extreme height. Overload. Extreme height. Overload. Extreme height. Overload. <laughs> to Las Vegas Motor Speedway in the 2023 NASMAR Community Cup Series Round of Eight. Christopher Bell is starting on pole alongside his teammate Denny Hamlin. Suarez starting in third and hometown boy Kyle Busch is starting in fourth. Last year's IRL champion Joey Logano will be starting in sixth. Chase Elliott will be starting alongside his teammate Kyle Larson in 10. And Kyle Larson coincidentally starting next to Bubba Wallace after in real life last year in 2022 they had some uh, little rivalry, I guess you could say, here at Las Vegas where Bubba Wallace left hook um, Christopher, not Christopher Bell, Kyle Larson into the wall, but he did involve Christopher Bell and then Christopher Bell on pole. Stuart Haas teammates, um, Kevin Harvick and Chase Briscoe starting next to each other. Kevin Harvick running a special throwback to Tony Stewart's Mobile One car back in 2015. Ty Gibbs will, and Bigger and Reese will be starting at the back due to all of them failing pre-race inspection. Cody Ware is at the back. And Eric Almarola is towards the rear of the field as well due to having a little looseness in the qualifying. Got a little loose in the turns and that ruined his time. BJ McLeod is up a little bit and even just a little bit can make a difference for a whole team. Eric Jones and Josh Berry, who's filling in for Noah Gregson, um, starting right next to each other. It's a great day for racing. Ryan Blaney here. The, the 2022 NASMAR champion. He will be starting 13th in this race. Just about his number position. One position difference. Pretty neat. But it is a great day for racing here in the city of Las Vegas, Nevada. And let's get in to our starting lineup. To begin our starting lineup, Christopher Bell on row one alongside his teammate Denny Hamlin. Daniel Suarez in row two and Kyle Busch alongside him in P4. Then you have Tyler Reddick and Joey Logano in row three. Then you have Alex Bowman and Martin Truex Jr. in row four. And then to round out your top ten, you have Ross Chastain and Chase Elliott side by side. And there is the rest of the field going by. So we're about to go green here and the green flag is out here in Las Vegas Christopher Bell out with a good jump and he will get the run off the corner right here comes Daniel Suarez to take the second position Tyler Reddick looking down low for third and he will take that position and Daniel Suarez will lead lap number one as they come out of turns number two Top three staying the same. Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin are side by side. And oh, we have the massive crash. Austin Dillon, Corey LaJoy, Chase Briscoe, and Justin Haley. I think Harrison Burton was involved just a little bit too. I think he rubbed along Chase Briscoe a little bit maybe. But a huge, huge hit for Austin Dillon. The front end 
torn off of that number three race car. You can see Haley, LaJoy, and Briscoe all on the hook. And there's the debris left of the number three car. Absolutely destroyed car for Austin Dillon. Man, I hope he's okay. But that will end stage one for it ending under caution. Daniel Suarez will win stage one. Christopher Bell, Tyler Ruddick, Kyle Busch, Hamlin, Logano, Elliott, Truex Jr., Larson, and Bowman. An interesting way to end off a stage number one. Um, was not expecting that crash to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome back to Las Vegas, and Daniel Suarez will lead. Oh, and there's a crash. Larson, Truex, Harvick, Bowman. Well, I know one thing for sure. This is going to have a huge mix-up on the playoffs for the round of eight for the hopes of Larson or Harvick. Elliott was involved a little bit as well, and so was Chastain. Chastain, I believe, got a rub on Harvick. But the drivers involved are the five of Larson, Truex Jr., Bowman, Elliot, Harvick, Chastain. There you can see Elliot and Chastain in the pits and the other two drivers on the bed and on the hook. Just look at that crash though. And just to promote myself a little bit, Yeti Cup Series Season 3, race number one at Las Vegas for the Pennzoil 400 will be releasing soon. But anyways, let's get back to Nasmar, and the green flag is out. Kyle Busch getting the good jump off of the restart. It's a one-lap shootout. Daniel Suarez taking over second place, and Christopher Bell battling Reddick for third, and it looks like he'll take it over through the low lane. Kyle Busch will win stage two. There's our stage results. Suarez finishing second, Bell third, Reddick fourth, Logano fifth. Ty Gibbs starting to climb his way, though, as he finished ninth in stage two. He finished at the back, or started at the back. So that's quite impressive. Keep it up. Nice suit. You might need this. Remember, Bubba, the Force will be with you. Always. And we're coming back. It's time for stage three. Kyle Busch gets a great jump. Daniel Suarez trying to hold off Christopher Bell for second place. Maintaining second, and Christopher Bell will take it. Now Joey Logano peaking low on Daniel Suarez, and Joey Logano will take P3, and now he's looking low on Christopher Bell, but it looks like he will not be able to make the move. Kyle Busch still dominating. Two laps left to go for Kyle Busch here in Las Vegas. Can anyone else catch Christopher Bell or Kyle Busch before this race ends? It's the white flag sponsored by Credit One Bank. It looks like it's going to be a Kyle Busch win more than likely going down the back straightaway for the final time through turns three and four. And out of four, Kyle Busch will win and advance himself to the championship as he burns it down here in Las Vegas. What a mess up for the points. Kyle Busch locking himself in with the win. Ty Gibbs coming back to finish sixth at the end of the race. 
Here's a look at the highlights from the race, that big crash that ended stage one with Austin Dillon. We just learned recently that he got a major concussion from that crash, hoping Austin Dillon gets well soon. Stay tuned for updates on that. But just look at that three car and the debris from that. And then also the crash in stage two, right off the bat. Chastain and Elliott having to pit. There's a huge hit for Larson, screwing up the playoffs. But all those points results have screwed up the playoffs. And it's it looks like it's going to be a messy round of eight. And here's a look at the point standings after the race. Kyle Busch now leading the standings with that win here in Vegas. This is really going to be a controversial race for the playoffs. Chase Elliott still in second, even after that crash. Redick in third, Blaney in fourth. That is your championship four. As of now, we still have plenty of races left to go. And there's Bubba Wallace, Brad Kozlowski, Larson, and Harvick having to worry about making it into the championship four. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this race brought to you by NASMAR and Yeti Cup Series here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the South Point 400. Kyle Busch was your winner to lock himself into the championship four, and there was so much more action in this race. It was a really entertaining race today. But anyways, peace out, stay cool, and make sure to like, subscribe, and share the channel for more. Count chips, we be straight. My bitch, she too gay. We fuck hoes all damn day. Shoe box turned to a safe. Trap house turned to a state. White bricks over new J's. Trap fashion runway.